y'all how are y'all doing today hope y'all are doing great um uh, today is saturday and it is 6 17 so you may be lucky enough to get this video tonight the same day we will see um i just came on here i've been running i haven't been feeling my best uh i uh was, I went to work Thursday, but then I ended up leaving to go home because I just did not feel good. My body hurt, and I was exhausted. I'm still kind of like that, still kind of tired, exhausted, but you know, everybody knows a mother. We still have to do what we have to do regardless if we're exhausted, sick, tired, whatever, you know. We have to push ourselves. Sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's not a, a good thing. Um, so anyway, um, the reason why I came on um, just to talk to y'all for a minute is because um, I want to talk about a little bit about um, you know the cliche and most of this cliche is a lot of it is you know when we have um, issues and when we bring that word up and everybody hate hearing that word we bring the word up mental illness oh it, it, it's a big old it's I mean it gets blown out of proportion or it doesn't even have to be mental illness. Somebody that just needs to talk to somebody um, to get them through. And that's, you know, that's 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 another reason why, you know, God put these people in place, psychologists and psychiatrists and all of that, you know, to kind of help people, you know, get through things that they mentally cannot get through by themselves. And a lot of times we 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 will say you know no nah, man i ain't i ain't about to go talk to nobody about my problems you know i'm just going i'm going to deal with it sometimes that's just not good enough and the reason why i'm saying that is because i have come from that side of the coin where i know you know a lot of times you do need that um you do need that extra help you know what i mean you do need that that mental break okay because if you don't get a mental break that's when other things come into play um but again the reason why i was saying that is because i have that when it hit home it hits a little different now you see a lot of things on uh facebook uh news or whatever else about different um mental illness situations and a lot of times those situations is they've gotten way out of hand um or they've seen those signs prior and you know a lot of times a lot of people didn't take heed to it at all they just going through it they they'll be all right just let them you know let them get let them let them deal with it they'll get it out and a lot of times it they don't get it they don't get it out and they don't get it because you know they need that extra help whether it's a psychiatrist or to have some type of medication but um, I just want to have a little short story time because it took me a long time to address this and talk about this because it was just so hard to talk about it because you you never know what people think about your situation. And I'm going to try to make this a two-part because I don't want it to be too long. And plus, my vlogs can't be very long right now. I only can do 15 minutes as of now. So, um, But this will be by, like my first part. So I would say, oh, it's been so long ago. Um, maybe... Excuse me to y'all about how I'm looking right now because it's it's a day where my hair ain't did and I got a hair appointment tomorrow, but mommy life, okay? Um anyway, um so this had to happen maybe three or four years ago, somewhere in there. Let's see. Yeah, about four or five years ago, um, my daughter had a mental crisis. And what I mean by that is um, leading up to that point, my daughter was going from, it started when she was like in the seventh, going to the eighth grade. She lost weight drastically. Like, you know, and, and a lot of times you think, you know, when they're the teen, 10, year, 10 years old, 10, 11, they, they're, they, they get kind of pudgy and then they kind of, you know they weight drops after that before they become you know when they become in a preteen or a teenager so i was just thinking you know maybe she just going through that she was a she was my healthy baby she was a little thicker than most but that's okay um so anyway um she you know she started losing weight and things of that nature and we're thinking oh she just becoming a preteen and that's fine and you know things of that nature and then to our teacher brought to my attention she said well is destiny eating and i'm like well yeah you know and then i had to think back it was times when we used to have to tell destiny to eat she would just not like just sit and eat she would just 
you know she'll eat a little bit then she wouldn't eat anything else and we're like come on now that's just you know we're like okay we're just gonna kind of watch it so you know things weren't too bad but then when she got into the ninth grade is when things hit the fan and when i mean by things hitting the fan i'm meaning that my daughter basically checked out okay i had took taken her to the er twice um, the first time a social worker called, I mean, came and talked to her and, you know, then, you know, told me to try melatonin to kind of help her sleep. Because at this point, she wasn't sleeping. Um, she wasn't sleeping all that great, you know, and she was calling. She was very fear fearful, um, things of that nature. So she wasn't really sleeping. So that was another cause of concern. So then the second time I took her, I'm like, she cut her hair, y'all. She cut her hair. She had braids in her hair and she ended up cutting them, Okay y'all i was so so afraid then i took her to the er i said you know something is not right she's scared she's not sleeping even she, i got to the point where she was sleeping in the bed with me because she was fearful so and, and she's just calling everybody and nor, that's my that's not my daughter she normally doesn't call anybody she was very shy very taken aback and she's still kind of like that if you meet her now you wouldn't know you know because she kind of keeps it and she doesn't want other, other people to know but maybe this will help somebody. I don't know because I'm not ashamed about it. But anyway, um, so I took her to the ER and I said, okay, this is not normal. She's cutting her hair. And then she was very fearful. To the, so um, a social worker came in there, talked to her for a minute. And they talked to me. And then I was like, well, I can't take my daughter home like this. Like she is, y'all, it was bad. She was so fearful and so scared. And so I was like, I can't take her that way. So we end up having to come boils down to it um that i had to we try to find a bed for her at a, a mental institution so all the beds in Mich michigan county they didn't have any available beds because at that time she was 14 years old so they didn't have available bed kid kids so i we eventually they eventually found one it was in auburn hills and that's like two hours away from where we stay so, and this time it was winter time, y'all. It was a blizzard and all that type of stuff. And it was so snowy. So, me and my husband end up, um, she went via ambulance. So, uh, we followed the ambulance all the way to Auburn Hills, the whole two hours, okay? We followed. It was snowy and blizzardy at the point where ambulance kind of left us. And we kind of found our way. Good thing we had GPS. So, you know, we got her there. Okay, they got her in, and we said, you know, we are here with her. We're the parents of Destiny Williams. Um, and so we are here, you know, we know she'll be here soon. So we got her there. Um, we went back and talked to, like, a social worker at the place um, and talked to them. And my daughter was sitting there. And I mind you, my daughter has not ever been away from me and my husband. Like, she's never been away from us, that we couldn't stay with her. So, because there's you couldn't stay in that facility. So, um, you know, we couldn't stay with her. So, um, you know, it was just hard. Very, very, very hard. And I don't want this to be too long. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to continue this, um, talk another time to kind of give you what happened once we got to the facility with my daughter and how long she had to stay and all of that y'all. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know, I said this to say that, that every, like when people go through stuff, a lot of times they do need that help. They need the help and we need to seek it and not just think, oh, they're just going through something. Seek it because they're going to bring stuff to your attention um, that says like they're not okay. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to fill y'all in some more. I'll probably make this um, another video because I'm getting kind of close. Um, I don't want to go over 15 minutes and I don't want to, you know, draw it out because it's a lot of things that happen in between. So um, thank y'all for watching. Um, please comment um, likes, subscribe, and share for my channel. And I also want to thank all the people that joined, um, that came to my channel. I appreciate y'all so much for taking the time out to join my channel. Um, y'all don't know, I appreciate all y'all, okay? Everybody, even my newest subscribers. I appreciate y'all coming to check me out. So, um, I'm going to finish this. This is part one, and then I'm going to vlog part two. And try not to cry, y'all, because this is still to this day, it hurts my heart. Still to this day, I get misty eyed just thinking about what transpired and when we had to take our daughter through this. It's y'all, I'm gonna try my best. Um, so if I don't 
hey, that's just my true feelings about the situation. So, again, thank y'all again. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll be back with another one, okay, to give y'all more feedback. So, come back. Get those notification bells. Press that notification bell so y'all know the next time I upload another video. I'll talk to y'all later. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.